Welcome back to episode 25. And in the last few episodes, we've pretty much stayed in Africa and had some really nice dinners. Today, we will be leaving Africa, kind of. We're just gonna head just off the west coast to Cape Verde, or Cabo Verde, or is it Cabo Verde? Well, it's Cape Verde. We're going to Cape Verde. That's episode 25. And today we're going to be doing the cachupa, which is kind of like a pork and sausage stew. I've had a couple of little issues in the build-up. One being I could have really done with doing this in a nice Dutch oven, but it seems they're harder to get hold of than I had hoped and the one place I did is still shut because of the coronavirus and this and that. So, it's still doable. The only difference is we have to wing it a little bit and do my own methods and timings. So, as I'm going, I'm probably not going to be able to say we're putting this in for so long, we're putting this in for so long. I'll have to kind of do it after because I'm going to have to kind of put it in keep me eye on it, time it, and do it till it's ready. Doesn't matter, we'll get there. Still confident it's gonna be a great dish, really tasty. So, that said, I'm gonna go straight in with the ingredients, what you're gonna need, what you need to do to prepare it, and then we'll come back and we'll do something we just don't quite know what yet. Give us a chance, we'll feel alive 
the very early stages and I am quickly gonna heat up that pan, a little bit of oil, tiny bit. Uh, the, the pork's obviously got a lot of its own fat. You, you'll see that I've cut off a lot of the fat. It's nice to have a little bit for when cooking, but I cut off most of the big bits of fat. So we just got nice chunks of meat. And you see I cut some nice generous sized chunks. Here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to just slightly brown off the pork in a pan and then I'm going to transfer it to the slow cooker and that's the way I'm going to approach the meat. I'm just going to let it go for a few hours. I'll decide how long later I'll come in and try it and then I'll come in and do with you the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the dish and what I'm doing for that. Now part of the dish you'll see was white hominy corn and again i was supposed to soak that overnight and i was thinking about it and then i fell asleep and i woke up this morning and i'd forgotten to do it so it doesn't matter too much it just means i'm gonna have to cook it a little bit longer i have had it soaking all morning um so it has had a good soaking but I'm probably going to have to cook it just a little bit longer. So what I'll also do a little bit later is I will just cook the hominy on its own for a while in a saucepan of water. In a saucepan of water before I start the main part of the dish. So I'll just let it go for a while first, and then I'll and then I'll incorporate everything together, hopefully at the right time. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. the pork in that's us done for now see you in a bit so as I said earlier we are winging it a bit today just over three hours ago I put I browned the pork off and I put it in the slow cooker and I put it on high and that was just over three hours ago and what I'm gonna be doing now is because I didn't soak the hominy overnight it could take a little bit longer to cook but I have had it soaking all, all morning so it's been soaking a while so I'm just going to temporarily drain that off now and what I'm doing is I'm boiling up some water and I'm going to put the hominy in a pan on its own and cook that off for the next I'm going to I'm going to boil it up then I'm going to turn it down to a low and I'm going to let that cook for the next hour or so. I'm going to keep checking it but I'm guessing about an hour and the reason I say about an hour is because it still will be cooked a little bit more after that because in an hour's time I will start the dish as though I was starting from scratch. So I'm basically just giving the pork and the hominy a head start before I actually start the meal. <laughs> so, hominy in the pan. It's not as it On the heat, boiling water to cover that. Not overly confident, but I think we're all right. So, we are just about ready for liftoff and we're going to start very shortly with the main cook. Yeah. 
here we have my hominy and it looks like it's working out well you do have to keep your eye on it do not let it run out of water just make sure you keep an eye on it because it will stick to the pan clump and what have you mine's come out pretty good so far <clears throat> that needs to be put to the side and that will go in when it was originally supposed to shortly here we go we get that pan up to a medium heat then we're going to put our tablespoon of oil in my face tells me it's not hot enough how crazy that in a little town in the UK I found it easier to find hominy than I did a Dutch oven you see hominy I think especially in the UK is probably something a lot of people wouldn't have and a large percentage probably haven't even heard of um, and I did think I was going to struggle to get some but luckily just five miles away just a couple of towns away we have the most amazing African and Caribbean food store and lovely gentlemen very helpful and they have the most amazing ingredients all the things to do with African and Caribbean cooking that you would be forgiven for thinking you might not get I pretty much guarantee he will have it in actual fact, I might even put the name in my description. Anyway, that pan should be hot enough now. My face tells me it is. One tablespoon of oil. Swirl it around. In with the onions. Sizzle, sizzle, we know what that means. These are only going to be in for three minutes, then I'll be adding the garlic and bay leaves. They won't only be in for three minutes, but it will be three minutes before I add the garlic and bay leaves. In with the garlic and your two bay leaves. We're going to carry on cooking for just one minute. That's lovely and fragrant, just about right. Now we're going to put the tomatoes and the juice in and your two cups of stock. Heat up, I want it heading towards a boil. Give it a nice stir around and I'm going to season it there as well. Nice bit of salt, lovely bit of seasoning, maybe a bit more. Can't go wrong. The pork's looking lovely, it's also looking like it can't wait to be cooked a little bit more. What I'm going to do there also, just add in a little bit of the juice that the pork cooked in. And as soon as that hits close to the boil, I'm going to be putting the pork in there. And then once the pork's in, I'm going to reduce the heat and I'm going to let that simmer for half an hour. So in goes the pork. That smells good. I 
Okay. Heat down. Down towards low, simmer for half an hour. Come and have a look. Should have done this beforehand, separate it. Thirty-three degrees here today. That is well into the nineties, and we're not used to that sort of heat. Right, that's the chorizo in. I'm now going to put the kidney beans in. And I'm going with the hominy. Stir the hominy in. Sweet potato. And then put all your cabbage in. And I'm going to add just a little bit more water. Now turn the heat up and head towards boiling point again. Now there looks like there's quite a lot in the pan. Once that gets up to a high temperature, that cabbage is just going to sink down and then it'd be easier to stir it all in. And... Now I'm going to say put that on for half an hour. Once that's got up to around boiling, turn it down again, lid on, another half an hour. But I would personally just make sure you check that. I'm going to keep my eye on that during that half an hour. And I'm also going to give that a good seasoning as well. A bit more seasoning. I'm also going to put in a little bit of coarse black pepper. I think that will go lovely. Just about ready, but just for the sake of the sweet potato, because they are pretty hard to start with. I've turned it down low, and I'm just going to give it another 10 minutes. Then we should be good to go, ready to dish up. Then I'm going to take it off the heat, push it to one side, and I'm going to let it stand for about 10-15 minutes. Now I've turned off the heat, moved it off the heat and I'm going to let it stand for 10-15 minutes ish.
So, there we have it. A taste of Cape Verde, the Cachupa. And we've had some really nice dishes out of Africa. And now we've had a really nice dish out of almost Africa in Cape Verde. It's absolutely packed with flavour. First time I've tried hominy, nothing really to report back other than that it, I guess, likes wheat corn, lentils, that sort of thing. It just thickens up the stew a little bit uh, or, or even packs it out, I suppose. Um, it's nice, it's, it's okay, it's, there's not much to it, it's good. The sweet potato in that, I don't know what kind of sweet potato it was. All I know is, it's not the sort of sweet potato I normally use, and it was a sweet potato recommended to me at my local African food store. And I've got to say, it was absolutely gorgeous really nice the pork chorizo so many different flavors finished off with cabbage just an all-round good stew like meal um that would probably be one i have again but probably not when it's 33 degrees centigrade or 90 something degrees fahrenheit outside like today i'll probably have that again in the winter months really good with a nice I'll probably have it with a nice thick crusty loaf or something. So, that was a taste of Cape Verde. I'm off now, all done. So, that was a taste of Cape Verde. I'm off, and until next time. So, that was a taste of Cape Verde. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you soon.